<laughs> for Mel Vroman, nothing beats the thrill of prospecting for gold. It's like gambling. It's like uh, looking for that hole in one when you're golfing. It's like catching that state record fish. It's the challenge. And he's not alone. As the price of gold has climbed past $1,440 an ounce, so too has the number of people looking to hit pay dirt. I've seen probably uh, double or triple the people coming out here in the last year or so. Retired veteran Bob Pretty is among these modern day miners caught up in the new gold rush. Oh man, just the color of it when you pull it out of the ground. In traveling down dusty unmarked roads and into these forbidding hills near the old town of Congress, today's miners are also digging up a part of Arizona history that's still very much alive, or at least around, here in the desert. And here, at the Lost Dutchman Mine in the Superstition Mountains, the rising gold prices have attracted more and more amateur prospectors, and they're not always prepared. According to George Johnston, a historian at the Superstition Mountain Museum, it's easy to be so seduced by the prospect of a treasure hunt that you forget about the danger involved. That interest, of course, is buoyed by the fact that gold is so high. Now people are looking for the lost Dutchman that don't know anything else about the whole business. And they're the ones that are getting lost in there all the time. But it's a risk miners, both past and present, are willing to take for the chance to strike it rich. Reporting in Congress, Grant Martin, Cronkite News.